Hey everybody, Danielle here. Hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend. Um, we've had a pretty good weekend here. Just uh, trying to kind of clear up. My voice has cleared up a little bit, so I don't sound so so gunky. Um, but yeah, we've had a pretty good weekend. Just hanging out at home and uh, working on just doing housework and getting laundry ready for the next week. I always swear I fall asleep on Friday night and wake up and it's Monday morning. It just, it goes by that fast on the weekends. Um, especially when you're at work and, and school and work like we are. But uh, getting some stuff done, resting, um, stuff like that. I'm going to work on laundry all day today. But um, I did something over the weekend that um, I've been promising that I would do. And, um, and now I'm going to tell you guys about it and um so I watched the Priscilla movie um Saturday night and um I told Nanny and Papa all about it they are um they're gonna watch the movie on their own and when they return here before too long then they'll do their review for you guys um so this video is just strictly gonna be my reviews um they have not given their full opinion on it because they have not watched it yet they do want to attempt to watch it and, and, and give their honest reviews on it. So, I'm, this is just mine. Remember, these are just my opinion. Um, and, um, here we go. I keep saying, um, cause I'm, I'm almost speechless and not in a good way. But anyway, I, I just did not like it. Um, I liked the Elvis movie better than the Priscilla movie, and, and I didn't like the Elvis movie. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys did. I just, I didn't care for the Elvis movie, um, but I liked it a heck of a lot better than, than Priscilla. Just to start, and again, these, these are my opinions, my thoughts. This has nothing to do with, um, you know, downplaying the characters or the writers or anything. Producers, um, you know, they, they do their jobs, well and, and with what they're given but this is just my review my honest opinion um i just thought it was bad um first of all it came across just almost i hate to say low budget but it was like some of the scenes just seemed to cut off um there a lot of the m music from the from like 50s and 60s was in the movie there was no elvis music <clears throat> in the movie i'm assuming that's because maybe it was not um <coughs> excuse me maybe you know a deal not worked out where they could write any of elvis's actual music into the movie um that was a little odd having a movie based on priscilla and elvis and no elvis music at all um i mean at one point i believe the tune of love me tender played in the background but there were no words to it um and I think one time Priscilla's character in the movie mentioned that she liked Heartbreak Hotel. Um, other than that, there were no names of movies, no other songs named that I can remember. And um, none of Elvis' music. So, that was a little strange. But, I mean, I can understand depending on licensing and, um, you know, ownership and, and who could, you know, the deal with that. Sometimes that happens with movies. It's just they're not played. It's not allowed. Um next the the characters or the the actors that played the parts again they do the best with with what they're given um the whole point and if you've seen it you'll know what i'm talking about the whole point that this guy and i'm not really sure the 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 actor or his actual height in real life but it was kind of like put off in the movie that that elvis was like you know, six foot six or something, seven feet tall. It was just very odd to me that he was so tall and lanky and then Priscilla's character was so little and petite. I guess it was done that way for a reason. I don't know. Um, it was just kind of hard to get away from that. Um, I guess, I mean, the actors did okay as far, you know, again, it's, it's kind of what they're given to, to go by, um, and how everything's written in. I just, I just was not impressed. Um, I'm sure they're great actors and everything. It just, it was almost like, it came off to me almost like a play instead of a, instead of a 
movie production. I don't know. Um, the, the dramatizing and everything in it was just kind of odd. Um, I just, I, I, I didn't care for the movie. Um, I did watch it all the way from the beginning to the end and, um, kind of just made some mental notes on things that supposedly happened in this story, in this movie, things that happened in the movie and that I know my grandparents uh, would know the difference um, and know what actually happened and would ask them, did this happen? Did this happen? Was it like this? Was it like this? Um, there was just a lot of questionable things in the movie. Um, first, <clears throat> something that really got me is, um, where, you know, my grandparents have told several times when Papa and Elvis bulldozed, uh, the house that Papa and his mama and daddy, <coughs> Luna, enough, enough, enough. Um, the house, um, on the Graceland property that Papa and his mom and daddy and brother lived in, and then, um, Papa and Elvis bulldozed it down. It was kind of funny in the movie that Elvis said, what is that house back there? And one of the guys said it was Uncle Travis's house. Um, and Elvis gets on this bulldozer that looks pretty modern day to me. It doesn't look like it was in, you know, in the 60s. And Elvis alone bulldozed the house down. Um, and then that was that. Of course, I'm sure that was a thing where um, Priscilla did not want to include my grandparents at all. Um, a lot of people that were there at the time were not mentioned in the movie at all. Um, but... That was a case where it did happen, but my grandfather was included in that, and Vernon was included in that. He came out hollering and not, you know, hold up, hold up, hold up, because he had a bunch of stuff stored. Um, we, Papa's told that story. We've had that in a couple of our videos. Um, so, it, it was a little different, and Papa was definitely involved in that. Um, something else is where... In Germany, I believe in the movie, Elvis is talking about uh, Grandma Presley, Dodger. Um, we all know her as Dodger. And um, he's, he's telling Priscilla about Dodger. And he said, oh, yeah. And, and I started calling her Dodger because I threw a ball at her and she dodged it. And I called her Dodger. Um, that's not the way the story that I've heard about that. Luna, enough. That's not the story that I've heard about that. Um, it was, I, and, and I asked Papa again tonight, and then they'll tell it again on their video. Um, but it was, uh, there was a thunderstorm one night, and back then it was, the lights would hang on the cord, and it would just be the bulb hanging down. And there was a bad thunderstorm and lightning, and um, it blew out one of the lights that was hanging, and the ball busted and there was glass. So, it blew out the light and there was glass. And Dodger was, you know, it scared her. She screamed and she was kind of jumping around dodging the, the glass and that light. And it was, you know, the light went out. And um, so, that's where they started calling her Dodger because she was dodging the glass where the bulb had busted and gone out from a thunderstorm and lightning. Um, it had nothing to do with him throwing a ball at her and her dodging it. Um, but I guess that made for, you know, a, a better part in, in her movie. So, that's how it was. Um, in the Elvis movie, it was written in that they had Elvis. He was just so depressed and he was just angry all the time and depressed and all of that. And and in this movie, I feel like it just, they switched places. They, she, she has it that Elvis was upbeat and always hanging with the guys. And that basically her, I say her character, but her, it is her character in the movie. Basically the Priscilla character in the movie, from the time that she came over from Germany, she was, she was depressed. Um, you know, <clears throat> and I mean, I, I even said, I don't. It would have to be hard to be in the situation where you're married to the number one superstar, actor, performer, um, rock star. You know, you're, you're, 
you're married to them, they're traveling without you, you're back home, you're seeing these tabloids, you know that women are chasing them, and that would have to be hard. I'm not trying to downplay that at all. I'm sure that there were times that it just was not easy for her. You know, it wasn't easy for any, any of the wives or girlfriends, I'm sure. I know it was not easy in the beginning for my grandmother. She was back home here, and, and Papa was traveling, and they were, it was the movie days, and I know, I mean, she's told. There were times it was hell. I'm not trying to downplay that at all, but I just don't don't think that there were times that from the time she came from Germany over that she was lonely and had no friends and nobody liked her. Um, that That's just not true. I mean, there's plenty of stories and I was talking about it with my grandparents tonight and, you know, it's a little offensive, I guess, because the stories that I've heard that's not the way that it was. I mean, there were plenty of times that it was Nanny and Patsy Lacker and um, Patsy Presley and Becky Yancey and Priscilla um, here that they were all, they were all here. And of course, like Marty and, and Papa and all the guys were with Elvis and out in California and out on set filming movies. And they were all here, but... Priscilla was included with the with all the wives and girlfriends in the movie. She, not that she ever would or did mention my grandparents at all. My grandparents were a big part of Elvis's life and a big part of that time. And and whether she likes to admit it or not, a big part of her life. But uh, of course, they were not mentioned. They weren't even named in the movie. But um, you know, the the way I've heard it and understood it from my my grandparents. Um, is there would be lots of times that while they were all home and the guys were gone out on set that, you know, Priscilla would be at with my nanny or she would be, um, over at, uh, uh, Patsy Lacker's house, um, where, or where she was living at the time and be with her. They would go shopping. Uh, nanny said, you know, there were times in, in California when they did finally get to go that she and Priscilla would go shopping just about every day. Um, there were times here that they would go shopping and, um, go out to do stuff or, go, you know, go out to eat or see a movie or be at the fairgrounds. I mean, Priscilla was included with the, with the, wives, especially Nanny and Patsy Lacker. I've always, you know, told that. Um, you know, there's pictures of Nanny and Priscilla acting silly and their their big hairdos and, you know, all of that. I just I you know, I don't understand why Priscilla would want it to be made out that she came here and she was all alone and nobody liked her and she wasn't included and you know, the, the only time she was included was when Elvis and the guys were back at Graceland. And otherwise, it was her and her little puppy dog. And she had no, you know, no friends. That I'm sorry, that's just not true. I was not there. But from what I've been told, of course, I wasn't there. You know, from what I've been told, that just was not true. That she did have friends. And they all, you know, liked her. And they all got along. And she was included. And they did stuff together. I mean, Nanny's even told her and Priscilla went out and rolled yards with toilet paper on Halloween. And um, that they, you know, would go shopping. And, um, you know and out and that's just how it was um nanny even told one time i mean priscilla went on a train with patsy lacker um back home when uh i believe she said it was patsy's grand she'll correct me on this if i'm wrong when patsy's grandmother passed away <clears throat> priscilla went with her so i mean that it was just a little bit of fabrication going on there um you know i and i think the movie was made to kind of portray um, you know, this, this young girl that came to be with this superstar and she wasn't treated the best or she felt, you know, left out and kind of poor pitiful me. I also feel like it was created to kind of change people's minds on Elvis and, and portray him differently as people knew. And, and, <clears throat> but, you know, that, thank goodness that did not work. I feel like some of the things that come out and the way that they portray Elvis now, the newer generation, you know, might be a little confused on that. I mean, no, the ladies in the beginning, no, they did not get to go. The wives, the girlfriends, they didn't get to go. That was just a rule. It was Elvis and the guys and they went. Um, 
and no, I mean, do I agree with that? No, I don't. I, I don't agree with that. And I can imagine life was was hard sometimes. Your spouse is gone and they're living the, the you know, superstar, movie star life. And you're back home and you're not able to go. I'm not saying that. I'm not downplaying that at all. No, that can't be easy. Um, but that's just the way, that's just how it was. Um, I do, I just feel like, you know, she portrayed it as, well, you know, I came here and uh, Elvis made me dress a certain way and wear my hair a certain way and do my eye makeup a certain way and, you know, and then nobody included me. I just feel like it was a, a poor pitiful me moment, um, you know, put onto film. Um, I, I don't know. We've heard that um just like all of you heard have heard we don't know but that lisa you know kind of viewed the script and what was going on and got with the writers and got with her mom and really didn't want the movie released um we don't know that that's true um i mean it would ne probably never be told uh, by priscilla if that were true but um i mean i could see why it to me it didn't it didn't paint a bad picture of of Elvis, it was just, it was a very one-sided picture, and I guess I do say it, it, I don't mean to say that it did not paint a bad picture of Elvis, because it did, um, from, you know, when I heard different reviews on the movie when it came out, it was just, you know, it kind of put a bad light on him, I think that it was definitely done in bad taste, and I think that, um, it, it was tried to, to show that maybe he, he was not, always faithful to her but I don't think that she was always faithful to him either um I don't believe that it was and I don't I don't feel I don't believe that that there was no uh, bedroom activity until marriage and then oops she got pregnant the night she got married I don't I don't believe that I believe that, um, you know, I think things happen, um, more frequently and, and ahead of time, you know, than the movie portrayed. Um, I don't think that it was a 100% innocent type thing. Um, do I feel like in the movie it tried to, tried to show that maybe Elvis was a pervert? I don't... I mean, yeah, I was a grown man and she was young. However, I mean, just like in the movie, it did show the the truthful part that after he left, he did not see her again until she was 17 years old and they did not get married until she was 21. So saying, oh, I was a child bride. No, you weren't a child bride. You were 21 years old when you got married. Um, so... That was a little off. Um, I do think that, and I said a while ago, I'm still, it's not what I meant. I said a while ago, or a few minutes ago, that um, I didn't think it painted El Elvis bad. I didn't think that it portrayed him as a horrible, terrible person. I just think that maybe there was a little one-sidedness to it. Um, every marriage has their, their ups and downs and their problems. I'm not saying that. Nobody has a perfect marriage. <coughs> you know, everybody has had times that they've had to work on things or, you know, there, there aren't agreements. I just don't, my grandparents never saw him be physically abusive to anybody. She had it in there that she had to walk on eggshells and anything she said, he might, you know, lose his cool and and grab her by the arm or or throw her onto the bed or holler and yell and throw stuff at her head and i just i think that that was falsified um so i think that it does paint him as a as a an abusive person on that end and to their knowledge that that never happened um i don't you know the fact that she was a young girl and went over and she, you know, she, they had her character as this, it, she's an innocent, you know, little school girl. And I, I don't know. I wasn't there. Do I buy it? Hell no. I mean, 
I don't know anybody that does, but whatever. Um, I just, all in all, I just didn't like it because I just felt like it was very one-sided. Um, and he's not here to defend himself. It kind of, you know, as far as making him look like an abusive man that he was in control and you can't do this and you can't do this and you can do this and you will do this. I just don't think that it was that way. Um, did he flirt around? Did he maybe have other girlfriends? Did he, you know, screw around? Yeah, he, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm sure he did. Um, I mean, again, I wasn't there, but I mean, it, he, he wasn't a one woman man. Um, but I just think that, that Priscilla kind of had herself as innocent throughout the whole thing and him the bad person and she never did anything wrong and I just don't think that's true I think if you're going to tell the story tell it all tell you know be be the first to say he he made mistakes I made mistakes I mean nobody's taken from her that she was his wife and the mother of his one child yes I'm just going to say one child Lisa Marie Presley his one child I've had the question uh, a thousand times do you know we believe that he had other children not no, I, we don't. He had one child. It was Lisa. Um, but, you know, also sh in the movie, you know, show the, show the truth. And the movie did not try to tell that he had other children. That just popped in my head that uh, I've had that question, so I threw it in there. Um, the movie does just show that he had, you know, Priscilla, he had, he had one child. That was Lisa. <coughs> but just show... If you're going to write the story and do a movie, I mean, yeah, who wants to make themselves look bad? But, you know, tell the truth and, and, and say he made mistakes. I made mistakes. This is my side of the story. But not, oh, I was just innocent the whole time and I was mistreated and nobody liked me and he was mean to me. And, um, you know, just include people that were included in the stories and that had things go on it let you know include their names and include them don't don't fabricate stories um another story that was semi fabricated to my understanding was priscilla saying oh no it's choose your your spiritual books and your book of numbers um it's choose them or choose me and so elvis gathered them all up and got the guys in the backyard in a with a fire and a barrel and they burned all the books that's not exactly the way that that situation went. Um, and, and he did not burn all of the books because he had all of those books on tours with him that he carried in a trunk and had those on tours as, as what I've been told by my grandparents. So, um, that situation was a little different. I'll let Papa tell that when they do their review. Um, I just, I didn't like it. I did watch it through and through. Um, another thing that I, I saw, I noticed that was kind of thrown in there that maybe, maybe some of you noticed, some of you didn't, but did you guys ever notice that anytime they showed people standing out at the gate in Memphis, <coughs> out at the, out at the gates at Graceland, it would be like six or seven people and that's it. I mean, bull crap. There, there were way more than that at any given time. And, but it was almost like, yeah, th there were only a few fans out there, like, you know, the part that he had a ton of fans constantly, oh, well, that's just insignificant or whatever. I just kind of felt like that was a, a, a little bullcrap jab to stick in there. Oh, you know, five, six, seven people and that's it. That's not, I mean, come on, let, let's get real. There were more than that. Um, and um, I don't know, I just kind of feel like there was a, a bad light kind of put on to Vernon and Dee in the movie that, you know, and I'm sure, yeah, Papa's even said that his uncle Vernon was a little tight on money. I'm sure he was. Um, I don't think that he was mean to her or he probably did tell her when she was in the office with uh, Becky and Patsy probably did, you know, get out of here and quit running your mouth. They have work to do. That's, I mean, you know, that's probably the way he is. I just, she kind of had in there that Dee was kind of grumpy with her. Um, 
you know, I don't know that that was really the case. Um, and I thought it was kind of strange. The colonel was mentioned several times throughout the movie, but it was always Elvis on the phone with the colonel, and he was basically griping and telling the colonel the way it was going to be, but there was not one time that colonel was, there was a character for colonel in the movie. You never heard his actual voice. It was just kind of confirmed by what Elvis was saying, or he might say the colonel, um, you know, this and that or that. Um, I just thought that was kind of odd too. No character for him. Um, of course, there was no Billy and Joe Smith in the movie. Why would there be? Goodness. Um, there was no Marty or Lamar or Sonny or Richard Davis. Um, any of them, um, in the movie. So, it, it just kind of left out some, some significant stuff. Um, kind of didn't have... You know, I'm not saying there were no truths to her story. Of course, I'm sure there are. Um, but just some of the stuff just maybe wasn't told all the way. Um, you know, I, again, I I wasn't fond of the movie. I did not like it. Um, I just, even if I didn't know a lot of the background, even if I didn't know the story, I would see it coming from the outside looking at it even if I did not know any of the any of the story it would hit you that it was a very one-sided story and it's just the point that it is it's one-sided and Elvis is not here to defend himself um you know I don't know again if Lisa wanted them to stop you know and ask that it not be um not be written and come out. I We don't know that. But, I mean, I could see why it does kind of... It would made her daddy kind of look like a... um Kind of an arrogant, you know, chauvinist pig that... You will do this or you can't do this. Um, it, it, it did <clears throat> try to convince people that he had a very bad temper with her. And that he was ugly to her. And that he was always, the minute he did it, oh baby, forgive me. I, you know I didn't mean it. I have a bad temper. <coughs> I just don't buy that. Um, so yeah, it did, it it did show that, and in a way, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of people kept saying, oh, it was making Elvis look like a, a pedophile, a pedophile. It was not, throughout the movie, it did not, you know, construe that, oh my gosh, he has young girls all the time. It just, it was that Priscilla was young when they met, um, and when she came over, she was, you know, 17 years old, but, um, I mean, it's also a different, a different day and a different age. Back then, that, that was not odd anyway. I mean, ladies, girls, you know, they got married at a lot younger age. Um, there was a big age difference between Priscilla and Elvis. Um, but, I mean, you know, her parents allowed it. They, they let her go. I mean, so don't, don't complain about it later. I mean, whatever. Um, I just, all in all, I didn't like it. I felt like there were some untruths. Um, and a lot of it, there could have been, you know, some true stuff. I'm just saying what I know and the story that I know, um, a lot of that was not true or things were fabricated or added into the stories. I just, just didn't think that it was good. I think that it went through the early part of their relationship um, it didn't cover a lot into their, into their marriage, and it was just pretty much, there was never really a big climax in the movie, you know, you have the big build-up, you know, normally there's a big build-up, there's a climax, and then it falls, and that's it, there, there was none of that, it was just, it's kind of boring, um, I like the music that played, because I love 50s, 60s music, um, I love all of that that type of music. So, I mean, that was pretty good, but, um, just, you know, there was mention of Anne Margaret. Uh, there was a mention, uh, mention of Anita in the beginning, uh, then Anne Margaret and then Nancy Sinatra. Um, and it was, oh, she thought that Nancy Sinatra was, you know, and Elvis were mixed up and it kind of, uh, kind of told that. Um, I mean, the way I, 
was told Nanny said that Nancy Sinatra actually held uh, Priscilla a baby shower. So, I mean, stuff like that was definitely left out. It was kind of, you get <clears throat> through the early part of their relationship, all of a sudden they're married. All of a sudden, Lisa's born, and then, okay, she strictly only did karate with Mike in the movie. That was it. They did they did karate, and she had lunch with him and a few girls, and um, she didn't do anything wrong, you know. She just did karate, but she decided that was the life she wanted, so she told Elvis she was leaving, and I don't know. I mean, I like to hear Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You. That's my favorite version of the song, so I did get to hear that. Um, but it was just, hey, she, she got in the car and she drove out the gate that had maybe four or five people calling her name and it just went off. I just, I don't know. Just all in all, I was not impressed, but I did give it a chance and watch it. Um, and no, this is not before anybody says that this is not a Priscilla hating moment. I'm not a Priscilla hater. Um, I don't know Priscilla. I don't hate her because I don't know her. I hate the attitude and I also hate the way that um, she and, um, the group, you know, she and the, the, the family on that side and the, um, the estate and everything. I hate the way that my family was treated, the Smith side. I hate the way that, um, you know, my grandparents have not been included for their part in Elvis's life, which was a huge part um, and I definitely hate her attitude towards our family, but I do not hate her as a person because I don't know Priscilla. Um, I just know things that I've been told and I don't understand why she apparently has a hate for my grandfather, for my grandmother. Um, you know, I, I don't understand that and I guess I never will. Again, this is just all strictly my opinion. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I encourage you to watch it um, if you want to see it and, and see see what I'm talking about. I'd like to hear you guys, what you guys think about it um, in the comments. Let me know if you guys liked it or um, if you disagree with anything that I'm saying. But let me know what, you know, what makes you agree with it and or disagree with me and agree with the movie. Um, definitely, we want to hear your feedback just as well. And I, I'd love to hear your feedback. Again, uh, my opinion, uh, you know, I'm entitled to that. Just just what I think. Um, this has nothing to do with what my dad thinks, what Nanny and Papa think. Um, Nanny and Papa will be watching the movie and then doing their review upon their return, which will be very soon, I promise. Um, Daddy and Teresa, I'm sure, are going to watch it and uh, give their review on it as well on the Memphis Mafia Kid channel. So, tune in to that channel as well and check them out. Um... Again, March 1st, stay tuned. We're going to be giving information on our Elvis Week plans. And I'm going to go for now and get uh, get everything settled, get ready to finish out my weekend, and get up for another fun-filled week. Um, the kids here in the next couple of weeks are looking forward to spring break. So I'm sure if you have kids or grandkids in school, they're looking forward to that. So uh, let us know in the comments as well if you guys are making any plans or travel plans. We are not this year. We're going to hang around home. Uh, but yeah, let us know. Let me know how you like the movie, what you think, if you agree with me or disagree. And if you have any questions for us, send them on in. But I'm going to go for uh, now. I will see you guys again on Wednesday for more, uh, more information, more questions, answers. Who knows what we're going to come up with. Uh, thank you guys again for the thoughts and prayers for Papa on healing. He is getting better, says to tell everybody hello. And they will see you soon. But until then... What do we always say, Sleepy Luna? What do we say? Say Elvis fans matter. <laughs> Elvis fans matter. We love y'all. Until next time. Bye-bye.
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.